Let's join Wade in the field now as he goes out on a bow hunt with the new Garmin Zero A1i Pro in Central Texas, where he's returning to a stand that had a lot of action that morning. So this is the field we set up in this morning. Most all the deer, I'd say 80% of the deer left going kind of back that way. So we're gonna go in along this two track that goes to that tallest tree right over there. That's where our stand is. And the plan or the hope is as the sun sets back this way, they'll come back out in that field in the same general area. We know there's gonna be deer coming from every direction, but that's that's gonna be where we're setting up at, and that's where we hope those ones we saw bedded down at. We're not gonna bust anything coming in this direction. And that's, a, that's always something to keep in mind is how you're getting in and out of your stand is, you know, so you're not bumping those deer that are you're hoping are gonna come by you. And I think this is about as good, easy, clean way to get into this stand. Smoked. He is smoked right there. What a cool hunt. You know, this morning was phenomenal. We got in here and we saw a lot of deer. We saw a lot of deer tonight and moving around and covering lots of ground. And, and it's just a matter of getting the right angle, getting everything to come into play for you. And that certainly did right there. I mean, that's a really nice Central Texas eight point wide, cool times chocolate antlers. He's pushing everything else around and we made a great shot on him. The cool thing about the Garmin Zero is you get data after you after you shoot. You know, we just shot a buck out there at 32 yards, and it tells us everything that was going on right there. And you can even project waypoints to your watch off of this. I mean, the, the data you get off of this is amazing. And, and I still go back to one of the coolest things ever is when we were in all the prototype early development of the original Zeros when we would would you know work with the engineers they would send us updates to our computer and you'd plug in your site and update things that they added to it and you still do it with this one too but this is the latest generation Garmin Zero here and it, you've got all kinds of mecha extra mechanical adjustments everything is menu driven I mean it's so easy to set this up the evolution has just been amazing to this technology as it's as it's evolved since our first ones and you know the first one was mind-blowing to me and now to sit here you know and that deer was out there I didn't have to guess I mean there's nothing out there for me to you know a lot of guys will throw rocks out on the ground or whatever but you know here I mean when that deer finally got out there and gave me a broadside shot I mean we saw that deer this morning the same buck and when he finally got out there and he got turned I had you know ultimate confidence because I had set this both side up for everything and i mean i didn't even know how far the shot was i knew he was in range for me but by using everything that's built into this and the way it's set up for my particular bow and tuned to my particular bow this bow shooting right at 290 feet with the arrow set up that i have i mean all i had to do was range the deer know that i was hitting the deer exactly where i wanted to let it off it dropped the pin and the end result was was perfect this is the arrow that's what you want to see there i mean that sucker is covered in blood top to bottom right there total pass through that's what you're looking for in those types of situations right there we're shooting that blackout mx6 micro diameter arrow and i mean it flies and it flies fast out of this wow Pretty crushing right there. We'll leave that right there. I think Clark just, I think I see his belly. <laughs> right there, I mean, that's 85 to 100 yards right there. That's about what I thought. I mean, he, he got hammered when we hit him. Oh yeah, look at this guy right here. 
What a great eight point. That's gonna be the exit right there. What a great eight point right there. I love that. That is so cool. Gosh, sure. Nothing more fun and, and gratifying than making a good shot that kind of, I don't know, it validates all the practice. I mean, bad things happen in bow hunting at times. I mean, you can practice and practice. I mean, I've, I've hit them in places that are just amaze me how fast they die, and I've hit them in places where it didn't. This one here was just a total pass through. He was running dead from the moment that arrow hit him. And that's just, I mean, to me, it's just so gratifying. When you pay attention to all the equipment in bow hunting and, and there's different levels of budgets and different levels of gear that make sense for everybody, it really kind of helps pay out when you can match it all up and make it all work. And, and whether you've got the highest technological advancements in bow hunting or you're buying a package bow, you, you practice, you prepare for that moment, you stay within the realm and, and the capabilities of the equipment and yourself, and you'll, you'll have moments like these that are just phenomenal, that fill the freezer, make good memories and stories for everybody, and you just, you go away satisfied. And, and this is one of those, one of those moments, for sure.